Hi there, welcome to chandu.org. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about how to create an interactive chart in Excel. Interactive charts are one of my favorite type of charts that you can create using Excel. As the name suggests, an interactive chart will let your users control what goes into the chart. These are very, very fun to work with and 99% of the time, my end users, that is my customers, clients, or my bosses, really loved it when I made an interactive chart. And thousands of my, my readers on chandu.org tell me the same. They tell that just by making an interactive chart, their boss really kind of head over heels uh, over the Excel workbook that they made. So my suggestion to you is, if you, if you are looking at a career where you need to communicate with a lot of people, then uh, learn how to do these interactive charts because it can, uh, it can really add a feather to your cap. Okay, so I won't tease you anymore. Let's go and see how to create this. This is the workbook. You can download this workbook from chendu.org. You'll probably see a button here in YouTube. If not, uh, just visit the link beneath the video in the description and you should be able to download the file associated with it. So this is what I call as a basic interactive chart. There are many, many different ways to do these. Uh, this is one of the techniques that we will be learning today. Okay, so you are looking at uh, some sort of chart that dis demonstrates uh, sales and costs of ECME Incorporation from 2007 to 2012, right? But there is a bit of interactivity built into here. This is called as a combo box. Using this, uh, you will be able to select uh, another item. For example, you could see the chart for profit trend. So this is the profit trend. Or you could see customers versus sales per customer. How many customers we had uh, in terms of millions of customers and what is the sale per customer that we are getting as you can see uh, there is a very good increase of sale per customer from four dollars per customer to fourteen dollars and percentage of market share which is fluctuating between 20 to 40 percent so these are four different charts that you can easily switch and see this is what uh, we can call as an interactive chart you are only seeing one chart but in background there are four different charts that uh, that are loading up here. So you might be wondering how is this done and that's what we will be learning in the next 10 to 15 minutes. The first step for any chart is obviously you need to have some data from which the charts are created. So I have put some fictitious numbers and and some calculations that will help us create the charts. So I won't be explaining how the charts are created because that is anybody's guess. So let us just say you have made four different charts the very first thing that you need to do is I'm going to enable some of the Excel features here so you can see everything clearly. So let me just go to view ribbon and enable the formula bar and grid lines so we can see everything in, in, in the Excel grid. I'm also going to turn on the uh, ribbon so we can uh, we, we will be able to see. Let me just zoom down this a bit so everything is in view. I think 90% uh, should do. Okay, so now let's go and uh, the first thing that you need to do is create each chart and put it in a in a set of cells. It doesn't matter how many cells the charts take up. What I have done is I have made uh, one of the columns in my worksheet quite, quite wide enough so that you can fit the chart in that column. And then I placed the chart nicely inside that column. It can... It, it can span several rows, but again, it doesn't matter. So you, you just position the charts inside uh, inside a column like that. How do you make sure the chart goes and sits nicely inside the column? That's very simple too. So let us say you made the chart and that's standing right there. So when you're moving the chart there, you hold down the Alt key. Alt key, okay? And you can see that it snaps to the grid. Alt key, when you're holding Alt key and when you're moving an object it will snap to the excel cell grid so we will just snap it like that so it goes and snaps it to the nearby cell corner and uh, that's that i have also uh, put two columns one at the beginning one at the end these are like buffer columns just so that there is enough white space at the beginning of the chart and end of the and end of the chart so it, it doesn't look too cramped when you, when you do it okay and then uh, just for your sake, your understanding, you could put the names of the charts in, in, in blank cells above. Make sure that the name of the chart is just outside the chart area, otherwise it will create some complications. 
Okay, so we have four charts. I have put the four of them. And then the next step is, that step one, you make the charts, you put them into four uh, various cell ranges. The next step is, select all the cells corresponding to first chart. It's not necessary to select only the cells for the chart, but maybe a boundary of like that. So you have an additional column here, there, and an additional row at the bottom. So this creates nice white space illusion. Okay. Once you select this, give it a name by going to the name box and typing the name. Now look at this. I have already created the name. So you are seeing the name chart one, right? So create the name for first chart. I have named it as chart one. This is very, very simple, straightforward. So you just select it, click on the name box and name it. Or if you are more familiar with this formulas defined name, use that and give it a name. Okay, I don't, I don't want to recreate the name, so I'm not doing it, but you should do it. Now repeat the process for chart 2, chart 2, chart 3, and chart 4. Okay, and you can hear my daughter screaming in the background. Uh, so that's chart 3, and then finally chart 4. Okay, so once you, once you have done this thing, we have created four name ranges corresponding to one chart at a time. You can check these name ranges by going to Formula Ribbon and Name Manager. And then you can see chart 1 is that, chart 2 is that, chart 3 is that, chart 4 is that. Right? Now for the next part, I'm going to create a separate sheet here. And I'm going to demonstrate that. But when you download the file, you would only have two sheets, output and data and charts. This is what I call as demo. Okay. The next step is... Now we have created four charts. The next step is to give user a control so that they can determine which chart to load, right? This is where you need to also have the names of all the four charts. So I have typed the names of four charts here. Uh, these are called as uh, sales and uh, costs chart, profit trend, customer versus sales per customer and percentage of market share. And just for the sake of keeping it clear, select all the four and give it a name called LST chart types. Again, this is up to you. Whatever name you choose, you can put it. You could put like LST my cats. It doesn't matter. Okay. The next step is go to, uh, go to the output sheet. I always like to keep my data and output separate so that uh, it, uh, my output sheets look clean. And I encourage you to do the, you to do the same. So I go to output sheet and now we need a way, a mechanism for user to select one of the four charts. This is where we go to the developer toolbar, developer toolbar, developer toolbar lets you do a bit of uh, macros and interactivity into your worksheets. In case you are not seeing developer toolbar, you can enable it by going to file options and customize ribbon and check the developer toolbar, check the developer toolbar. Okay, this should be, uh, it may be unchecked by default for some of you, so you, should, you need to check that. If you are running Excel 2007, then you don't have this uh, customize ribbon button. Instead, you would go to general and you need to check the third box. Okay, in Excel 2010 and 2013, they have modified it, so the third box is now something else, but uh, you need to check the third box. Okay, so once you do that, you will have developer toolbar and we need to insert what is called as a combo box form control okay so insert from developer toolbar insert combo box and your mouse changes into crosshairs like that so draw a nice big rectangle like that so you get a combo box now any of you running windows or mac or any 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 of you who have worked with computer for even one day you would have seen this kind of th thing everywhere this is got a combo box and using this you can select one of the many options. This is what we have here, right? So we will we will now need a mechanism to tell Excel that this combo box should show all these four chart types and then tell me which one is selected. So right click on it, go to format control and it should load up the control tab. If not, go to the control tab. Input range is where the input values are. What are the input values are for this LST chart? types right where should the cell link be cell link we will point it to an empty cell like that it doesn't matter which cell select it then and click ok now you will see all the four and if you make a selection this thing will change you notice that cell it changes right pretty nice and slick so we have figured out a mechanism for us to select one of the charts and know which chart number we selected 
the tricky thing is we know the number of the chart but we need a mechanism to fetch that corresponding chart so this is where we go to formulas define name and then we need we will write something called selected chart okay we are going to create a name now this name will refer to one of the four charts depending on what that number is if it is one it will refer to chart one if it is two it will refer to chart two three chart three likewise now you could write a lengthy if formula to do this but uh, a better option would be to use the formula called choose 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 based on that I'm going to just widen this so we can see this clearly choose that and then type the names chart 1 chart 2 chart 3 chart 4 okay so if it is 1 it will select chart 1 2 chart 2 3 chart 3 4 chart 4 And then click OK. Right now, the uh, the name selected chart refers to one of those four charts. Right? It's not enough if the name is there. We need a mechanism so that the chart is shown here. This is where the next step comes in. Go back here and select all the range corresponding to chart one. Okay? Select all the range corresponding to chart one. To the entire chart area. Press Control C. Copy the range. Come back to demo sheet and right click paste special linked picture okay this option varies depending on which version of Excel you are running it might appear differently but you need to select something called linked picture that will load the linked picture of that chart what linked picture does is it is a live snapshot of the range which to which it points so we have copied this range and we are pasting it as a linked picture here that means whatever is in that range will be shown here as a picture since that range contains a chart that chart comes up here as a nice picture okay now there are so many other things for example you could see the grid lines etc but we will forget about those things for a minute and figure out what to do with this okay so this is a linked picture the next step is to somehow change this picture based on what is selected there okay that's where we need to change the source data for this and point it to the selected chart to do that select the picture link and then here just select the entire thing in the formula bar when you select the picture link it shows you this picture link is equal to uh, range k6 to m19 or a6 to b23 whatever address it is so select the whole thing and then delete and then type selected chart this is the name that we have created so when you press enter if the name creation has no errors and if you have done everything correctly then it should just let you do it so now you can just select the type of chart and automatically the corresponding picture for that chart loads here so this is technically not a chart it's a picture of a chart but it doesn't matter because in the output sheet you don't really want to do anything like uh, format a chart or any of those things so you do all the th all those things here and then you just put the output there now that this is here how do you rectify this that's also an important aspect right so let's just quickly understand those things for example the very first thing to do would be to turn off the grid lines here so go to data and chart sheet and from view get rid of the grid lines so now it looks very clean and white come back here and repeat the process so now your image looks pretty slick okay then the next step is to make this somewhat small and pretty put it there probably something like that and uh, and then insert a text box and then type something like select a chart okay and then just position it nice and neat like next to that put it in a dull color okay you can also move this part this uh, selection linked cell somewhere outside the view so it is still there but it is not uh, blocking the view in fact if you're feeling somewhat adventurous you could even link it to a cell in a different sheet it will still work for the purpose of demonstration I've kept it here but I usually hide this in a separate sheet so that uh, this is not messing with any of the output you could put a nice big header on the top and your dynamic 
or interactive chart is ready. So go ahead and try this, uh, download the example file, play with it and I'm sure you, you can uh, reproduce this with your data and your charts very easy. This is one of my favorite and most easiest ways to do it but as I said there are many many different ways to create these kind of interactive charts. You could use VBA, you could use form controls, you could use formulas, you can use slicers, timelines, pivot tables, the whole lot of stuff that you can do that can make your workbooks interactive. And by making it your workbooks and charts interactive, your users will really love them and they will uh, play and engage more with your, your outputs and your data. Okay, so go ahead and try this and let us know how you feel about it. Okay, in case you're feeling like you need to learn a little more, let me just uh, uh, unhide something. In the downloaded file, just click through the links. You could sign up our free newsletter which sends you uh, Excel tips and ideas and tutorials and examples and courses that we offer all those details uh, once every week so it's a very good and free stuff that you can get you can visit chindu.org where we have more than thousand articles on various aspects of Excel including advanced charting or you could consider enrolling in one of our online or live classes with that I wish you all the best and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial see you again bye bye